All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and um, what you might call it. I uh, was gonna start this video early today because I actually have you know I have to lift weights today, and then uh, I want to actually work on the game because I didn't actually do anything yesterday. I, I worked on it two days ago. Uh, but uh, so you know, I just want to keep you know keep going because uh, I need to add. I think the final mile, which would be the sniper guy, like the like the model's not quite what I want, but I'm having a hard time finding something for free that's like you know an infantry model that might look like he has a sniper rifle. So you know, because uh, I don't think the British would look like that, but he does look pretty intimidating. So I guess it'll, it'll be a very good placeholder until you know I can actually afford. Well, it's not that I can't afford it, but right now I still have to tighten up a little bit. I just started getting my income back online, so. Uh, you know, um, I got, I got, I still have to play it safe, you know, so yeah, well, it'll be pretty good, you know, uh, let's see, I, I, I decided not to list an or coin games because I noticed that when I, because I was getting, oh, uh, I was having a lot of apprehension, so I guess now, I guess I could just now say it's actually, I guess maybe God's guidance or maybe it was Satan <laughs> controlling my thoughts, but no, in situations like this, no, it's usually it's usually good to go with my instinct. And then when I want an ore corn game to generate a deposit address for two by two JMC and four hundred four coin, I noticed it was not generating uh, coins. So that told me a lot of things, and that made my decision like, okay, well, that's it, you know, no use case, right? But I we never had one, right? Because basically what that means is the wallet was not working on ore coin games. So a they didn't bother to check, and number two. This is also equally important, and the whole point. Not only did the Orcoin game at Min, he wanted 16% of a Bitcoin. So, uh, what? How much? How much is that? Especially now, that's a, a 12, a fucking 12 grand. Yeah, the guy basically wanted $1,900 for a listing, right? For both Speed Coin and 100 Coin. Yeah, that's a lot of money, right? And then I thought, okay, yeah. But anyway, so obviously, yeah, I'm gonna be pretty suspicious uh plus you know he just said yeah it's just sent it to our company bitcoin it was like well can't you put it like you own the site can't you just like create a page on your site so that way i know i'm not sending it to a scam like like what happened last time with the fake trade ogre uh discord thing right I lost six percent of a bitcoin there uh which still kind of makes me mad because like you know how could how could i fall for that it's me right you know it's like geez you know it, it's like it's it's embarrassing well it's not well maybe it is embarrassing it was really a good scam but you know it's like i i, I equate that to loot to getting scammed by like those nigerian prints or saudi arabian prints or whatever those email chains are these days i actually don't see or hear from them anymore i think they actually put a stop to it but you get the idea uh but anyway the, the main problem is, well, if the wallet's not working, then that means if someone wanted to deposit, they should have, they would have told the Orc coin game admin, hey, can you fix the wallet? Right? And he would have fixed the wallet. But the fact that it, nobody's doing that indicates to me that no one uses the site. And then on top of that, the Alexa ranking for Orc coin games is like 3.1 million. It's like really low. It's really bad. All right. And I looked at um, gambling scripts too, right? And they just have it offshored. Like a lot of them also have fake users too, which I accept because it's just the nature of you know trying to get your site up. But it's like, hmm. So all these factors combined, I'm like, yeah, I think I'm just throwing away my money. So anyway, uh, yeah. So that's that, um, which sucks. But you know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, looks like we've got some really good news crypto wise. So let's take a look. Uh, Twenty four volume is very solid. So yes, ninety five point six billion Bitcoin dollars continues to drop. It's at fifty four point eighty four. So it's exactly what it should be doing, which is altcoins go up, Bitcoin goes down. But Bitcoin, I mean, it's kind of like the United States, right? That's basically what Bitcoin's doing, right? You'll still be the number one superpower, but your percentage share of the entire market will drop a lot right you'll still be way ahead of the pack it's just that everyone else will be catching up uh, and that's what we want all right so bitcoin's at 11,908 so uh, it's about it's trying to break through 12k yet again um because now because things are getting better with donald trump so we'll talk about that later too litecoin's at 62.58 a pop uh doggy coin where's doggy coin oh. 
406 put 63 million market. Uh, so this thing is not participating. There's actually a lot of altcoins here on the front page are also going down quite a bit. That's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, futures are flat. Um, yeah, Apple and Tesla skyrocketed, so uh, which is nice because now we could actually afford Tesla, at least until it goes back to 800 bucks and then it's out of range again. Wow, Rebel went down yesterday. It's not too interesting. Okay, well, let me see. What do we have for us? So it could better sell its future. No. All right, so those actually looks keep party rolling. Yeah, well, basically what you're seeing is everything's going down, but tech stocks are going up because, you know, the fucking lockdown, right? You know, the old world dies while technology takes over, right? Uh, unfortunately, a big right, or big right, dissident right people just simply blame, oh, it's just evil big Silicon Valley people. Technically, that's somewhat true, but it's also just simply the nature of the times, right? You know, the old ways are dead, right? You know, you know, like like we're still we're still operating very much like the boomers in, in a lot of ways. The boomer the boomer way is completely obsolete, right? Why would you write down math numbers on a piece of paper, assuming you're not in school, as opposed to just using a calculator, right? Like you know, that's essentially what we're doing. So um, yeah, so that's interesting. No news here. No, that'll explain. Some other things. All right, so JMC coins at seven eight, so not really a lot of traction here. Uh, in fact, all the action's been over uh, on these coins. So four four is at sixty two to sixty seven. Uh, two by two has been uh, dropping like crazy. I assume the supply is finally getting to getting to people. Uh, it looks like it's continuing to drop. It's at ten to twelve. Um, I think some. I think they're. I think they're trying to make a push to like raise. The, like I've seen Mitch do this before. Or he would just simply buy a lot of ricks or whatever, or buy a lot of a coin. I always told him that just doesn't work. You cannot fight math in the free markets. And naturally, he just doesn't listen. So it's at 50 to 69, which is great. But, um, you know, I would like for this thing to continue to go up, but it's not going to. It's like you just can't fight the inflation, hyperinflation on this. So, uh, yeah. But at least it does look like it's going up quite a bit. Uh, really, it went as high as. Is this? This is actually bricks. Oh wow! It actually went as high as eight fifty. Wow. Okay. I don't even know if he would be willing to manipulate that far up, but somebody obviously uh was really dumb. Um. So yeah, because see, this is what happens. The guy bought at like 853 Satoshis of Bitcoin. Now it's worth, now he loses 90%. Like, <laughs> uh, damn. If I actually knew this was going to happen, I could have sold my entire uh, Rick's coin. Um, I don't know if I want to risk it though. Let me see. I mean, there's not a whole lot of supply, but maybe. Um, because I actually just want to get rid of my Ricks, right? I mean, now that Mitch has basically abandoned everything, right? I just, I think he's still maintaining stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm on my own now. So yeah, and Ricks belongs to Mitch. So you know, what kind of irritated me was he told me, well, you know, you should be making all these new projects that he made Ricks. So it's like, dude, you know, you're telling me about compromising our other projects. Well, you know, you you go around and do the same thing. It's like, come on, man. And he didn't even give me any ricks for free either, you know, despite me helping him. So, like, like what the fuck? So, but, no, well, that's just how it goes. Um, but, yeah, 50 to 69, um, I don't know. Maybe if enough idiots keep buying ricks, then, yeah, maybe I can make an exit, you know. 100 coins doing better because uh, I haven't been selling, right? I'm just letting the free market do its thing, and the buying pressure is raising the price. Now it's at 33.4 Satoshis to 39. I'm hoping eventually it'll go back up to around 100. That would be really good. I have a couple sell orders here. Uh, uh, some at 800, one, uh, and then one at 1,000, and then I think I'm somewhere around 500. I'm not sure. I only put up like 3,100 coins. Because uh, again, I want to keep this as low as possible and this buying part. I didn't actually realize it, but you can actually look at the total buying Bitcoin in orders. It's actually, uh, that's actually a pretty good indicator of uh, like how much interest there is, at least for now. Um, so, and of course, we've got the faucet spam seller 
uh, assholes just screwing up the charts. So I can't look in the past. But for the most part, more people are definitely buying than selling. So it went as high as 450 yesterday. So hopefully today it can reach up to like 500, 540. Uh, so yeah, and especially now that there's much less pressure to make money. You know, I can actually take my time with this. So we'll see. We'll see. I still have math to do on it, but you know, 100 coins definitely improved. I had some guy on Twitter ask me, "How do I get the 100 coin?" Well, like, huh? Like, uh, like that doesn't he? Didn't he have access to like the official links, which are all over the place? And he just said, "No, I want to make sure I get it from the legit source." And I thought, "Oh, okay." So I, I guess me, I, so I had to make my things a little more clear. Um, let me see. I'm just curious. Why would he type in my name? See, this always annoyed me. I never use Facebook. But it's always first in the stupid search results. Like, this is what should be number one. I mean, it's number two, which is good enough. But, uh, okay, well, at least Google did not blacklist me. So, because, like, it actually shows this part. So, if you search for Nick Fuentes on, for DLI, Google doesn't even show you the search results. They actually de index that. <laughs> um, let me see. Why did I come on my profile? Uh, oh, yeah. Tweets and replies. Uh, yeah, so I don't want to show the full guy, but basically the guy actually is like, uh, oh man, alright, oh, yeah, alright, I, I, I don't want to keep digging in because I don't want to keep uh, looking, but, yeah, but the guy basically was just asking, how do I get 100 coin, what do I do, blah, 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 and then, you know, I just told him the info he needed. So, oh, that's right, one of my profile because, that's a bit shoot, okay. Yeah, because I finally changed my profile, so now that I'm just moving away from Mitch, just 100 coin speed coin. And technically, I still need to, uh, uh, what you call it? Um, you know, of course, I'll still maintain two x two, four hundred four, and GMC because I, I don't even know if the two x two dev is gonna like freaking do anything. Because now I'm also thinking was, I mean, Mitch could have like scammed me from a lot of things, but. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Like, there, there, there are th certain things for me to think about. Uh, and yeah, I still haven't heard from him. So I'm actually beginning to think, was he scamming people? And then that's why he was getting in trouble with the local authorities. Um, and he wasn't telling me why either. So usually when people don't want to tell me the truth, especially if you're my partner, then I definitely know there's something wrong. You're clearly doing something wrong, right? Otherwise, why don't you just fucking tell me, right? So there's that, but you know he's still I mean, he's still maintaining Ricks at least. So I mean he'll probably maintain 404 and GMC, and then I don't know, we'll we'll see what happens with two by two coin. But I'm kind of fully expecting it's just going to tank. So actually, um, we could check. Let's see. Oh yeah, the nice thing is uh, this is also another good backlink to my GMC radio channel. At least you know raise the uh, page rank and all that stuff. Uh, where is, here we go, uh, Twitter, alright, let me see, I think he's, uh, let's see, is it still active, he should still be active, August 26, yeah, it's very active, yeah, and he's still promoting, uh, other stuff, so, alright, yeah, so here's, here's the other thing, too, is, like, <clears throat> we have all this listing, and we have all this promotion, and yet, 2 by 2 still goes out, proving, once again, you can't fight the map. Alright, uh, Speedcoin is at, uh, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out what the real price is, because this one is just somebody that I think wants to exit because it's too expensive, too hard to mine, I think. This guy, that's actually my order, and then this is also my order, 11,050 11, Satoshis of a Bitcoin. I'm actually doing very, very slow sells on this, because I want to try to keep this price as high as possible. So it's extremely it's extremely difficult to mine this coin right now. So, uh, but it's definitely working. The inflation and control is just like top notch. So, um, yeah, we'll start. I have no idea what the price is. I'll have, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess, within twenty four hours. Uh, there's that. Uh, wow, we got three new people. Um, actually, this is, I think this is coming from Crux actually. So, three new people from. Uh, 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 
from wherever, so uh, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you won't be an asshole and just unsubscribe, because, like, you know, obviously you're just like, oh, okay, can you just tell me the point? It's like, well, you want to be told the point with stuff, complicated stuff like this. Well, you're free to just lose all your money, all right? I like to make money, so. All right, let's see. Uh, all right. Um, oh, yeah, I guess we could talk about Trump before. Uh, I don't really feel like it. Uh, we don't care about the NBA. Uh, okay, he's doing stuff about coronavirus. So that's good. Tamir, I said, hey, let's know. We'll start a problem with violence. Uh, I mean, Scott Adams has like a new, has a pretty somewhat passive take on this. It's like, oh yeah, just keep offering help, and then he'll refuse. Then Portland will refuse, and then just makes the Democrats look bad. I personally would just prefer something happen, but you know, apparently Trump actually cannot just simply. Uh, roll in the tanks. Um, it's actually unconstitutional. Yeah. Because uh, there are limits with the Insurrection Act, so. Uh, okay, to China. Let's see. So, China. So, of course, more China scapegoating. Uh, Matt Gates is a real rat, too. So, it's just very aggravating. Uh, aggravating. Okay, so now they're saying China is interfering with... See, I find this ironic, right? They say, well, Russia interference is a hoax, which is true, but now they're saying China is interfering with the election. I mean, I, I, haven't, I haven't had a chance... I didn't actually read the Dissident Right website, but, I mean, this was going to happen. They were just going to, like, just... It's like just everyone wants to scapegoat everybody, you know? Uh, the good news is uh, it's pretty obvious that a lot of people are not liking or retweeting it, so that's actually really good. That basically tells me that people think this is bullshit, because it is, right? Now, now does China have an incentive uh, to see Trump lose? Yeah, of course they do, right? You know, because of a trade deal, and then things will go back to normal, blah, blah, blah. But um, the other issue uh, happens to be, yeah, China is actually probably a real threat to the unnamed tribe that I still cannot name or even hint at in the Middle East, right? You know, the ones that actually control the world. <clears throat> Most of the world. They don't control Russia or China, which is, and Belarus. That's why they're trying to attack it with their uh, fake democracy shit. Uh, and that's why you see the Republican Party, who's under the direct influence of these evil people, uh, you know, attack China. Because they don't, because at least I know China is not under the thumb of these uh, evil people. It's not yet. Right. But they're trying, but they're trying to exert uh, control over China. So that's why we're seeing this dumb shit. Uh, but good. I'm, the the less that people like and retweet this dumbass shit, the more that Trump will go. You know what? This isn't a very popular thing, right? So, you know, well, let's keep at that. But anyway, uh, it's good. Trump's getting reelected. I'm still getting itchy from all these damn bug bites because apparently I did get bitten by bugs a couple days ago. Um, yeah, so Trump was within 7% of the range. So Trump's definitely within the safe range. The dissident right website has actually said that the mail-in fraud thing seems to have collapsed, which is good. That's what we want. And um, yeah, Trump's just been on point re-election-wise, right? Again, and he's kept his America last gaffes. Actually, he hasn't had any gaffes. So yeah, he's going to win re-election, and then things would get better. And then hopefully Trump will actually go... Hardcore hand because he has been building a wall too. He's lowered uh, immigration, so yeah, uh, you know. And then once the stupid election's over, you know, things will finally go back to normal, and then we can start making money again. Uh, hopefully, it will culminate with Trump just simply coming out and saying this whole thing's a hoax, and he'll just end all the lockdowns and shit. Uh, and that's what we hope uh, will happen. Projection over profit early. My parents suggest about Bitcoin's inventor. What? What is that even? That's a nice, it's a nice headline picture though. Bitcoin breakout signal emerges after. Uh, you know, I haven't tweeted on the speed or 100 coin uh, thing yet. I probably should. Bitcoin breakout. Let's see. Wait, what? This thing doesn't even make sense. This headline doesn't like. They're talking about two completely different things. Bitcoin breakout emerges after dream of bounce. You know, XM, it's first Bitcoin broad ETP on the newswire. All right, you know, I really need to tweet something on the uh, on these accounts. Uh, there's not even a picture. All right. A radical new crypto just blew past the Bitcoin price all time high, up three, uh, thirty five hundred percent in just one month. Okay. All right, I'm gonna actually uh, tweet this out, so I have to go on my Chrome. Uh, personally, uh, I don't really 
care about what the coin is or whatever. So let's see. Let's just tweak this out. Hmm. All coins will be big in this next Bitcoin bull run. Cryptocurrencies will become mainstream. All right, there's Forbes. All right, uh, gotta farm, gotta farm, uh, gotta farm the hashtags as always. No, this is not working. All right, it's going away. Speak, coin, Twitter, and then retweet that. Like, there we go. All right, very good, very good. Nope. Uh, I keep hitting the Windows thing at the bottom. It's very annoying. All right. So let's see. Bitcoin breakout this year says, I mean, definitely could, especially when the election's over, uh, especially if Trump wins. So affected North Korean hackers with Bitcoin, 104K from forfeited accounts. Uh, that's funny. Well, Kim Jong-un really needs his Bitcoins now. Someone just lost $16 million in Bitcoin using a malicious install. Like, ouch. Well, we don't have anything to read. We'll read that. Bitcoin will hit new high as Buffett exits the U.S. dollar. Wow. Yeah, Buffett's just a real asshole, so screw him. Venezuela's Bitcoin use soars amid hyperinflation. Hmm. Third on the global adoption, blah, blah, blah. So these are old articles, but we actually don't have anything to really read. All right, we'll take a look. Whales move, blah, 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 blah. U.S. election and dollar downturn will fuel high octane boost for Bitcoin to fear CEO. Actually, I do want to, okay. That's actually what I'm interested in reading. NASA exploring blockchain tech that could help power mission to Saturn's icy moon. Actually, I like space travel. No, I'm out of a Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Okay, we actually do have a lot. Oh, so Daily Home does actually have a lot of stuff we could read. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, third, okay, well, so we don't have to read that article. We don't have to care about that. You should always watch out for... Uh, I guess that's actually why the guy contacted me on Twitter, because he, maybe he he's really paired up downloading an actual virus instead of the actual wallet and then getting screwed. Uh, which actually would be warranted. It's actually justified, that paranoia. Venezuela's Bitcoin use towards amid hyperinflation, third on crypto... Uh, <laughs> Third on Global Crypto Adoption Index. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to read this now, but um, yeah, it makes sense because Venezuela is, is technically still being sanctioned, right? Because of Maduro or whatever the hell his name is. Coin may see all these biggest barriers to mass adoption of crypto. Where what timestamp? 2250. Um, blah, blah. Okay, so Brian I think there are challenges just to scalability, usability, and then privacy and security on these blockchains. If we go from dial up to broadband and all those kind of things, that will be a huge unlock. Yeah, I mean, the way you would do it is you would have to add, uh, you would have to add something to Bitcoin that would create some sort of like anonymous privacy. Like you would have to remove the privacy, uh, the public blockchain part of Bitcoin, or at least give people the option to do that. Or just simply create like an auto mixing kind of thing uh, in Bitcoin, kind of like what uh, Monero does. Option off of size of the need for clear regulatory frameworks to catalyze wider crypto adoption. Yeah, I mean, with, I, mean I really don't like regulations at all, but this would actually be a, a big reason because a lot of people do like centralization and um, and regulations. So, God, I didn't realize just how many how many bytes are on me. Jesus, how all the fucking bugs are just having a feast. What sucks is the spider that I that I allowed to live by my window. I think he's actually dead, so he hasn't been killing any of the stupid bugs. There's definitely some regulatory component to it. Right now, there are a lot of startups that are trying to be created. A lot of regulatory environments still unclear. Okay, well, that'll eventually uh, work itself out, especially after Trump wins re election. Clemens had also mentioned that crypto chain are working on probably really selling the channel of crypto stars phase is they now gonna do token issue again. So we're talking about how Coinbase can help with that world probably call it probably Coinbase launch or something like that. <clears throat> oh okay, so Coinbase is gonna create like an ICO helper thing, it sounds like. So that's actually really good. Alright, so what's NASA up to? So NASA wants to use blockchain. Titan. Oh, Saturn's icy moon? Oh, okay. 
Oh, so Jupiter's moon is called Titania, I think. Because that's actually like one of my favorite female names. I actually use that name a lot. Uh, in fact, if I have a daughter, I'm going to totally name her Titania. It's going to suck, though, because everyone's going to like make fun of her when she's a kid at first. Even if I send her... I'll probably try to send her a private school, of course. Because, um, you know... The, I don't, I don't want. I don't, I don't actually like flag the video, but you know the first three letters of that name, you know. <laughs> so, according to a NASA briefing, tech companies Orbit Logic and the uh, Fraunhofer Fraunhofer USA Center is that German USA Center for Experimental blah 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 put forward a <clears throat> okay a blockchain-based protocol that has its comms in ho inhospitable space and fires up space communication reconstruction and okay scrabble yeah they're everyone in america is so good at coming up with these crazy acronyms aren't they by leveraging the distributor ledger technology for scramble will store and propagate a ledger container all the data across blah 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 uh key to any space network coordination the underlying blockchain will be developed in such a way that it enables spacecraft to bypass interruptions communication. Should one node encounter issues, the rest can slowly and die at that during the most effective way to transmit a message. <clears throat> so, I guess it's just a different way. Yeah, I guess that's just a different way. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm talking so much. Now my throat's acting up. Uh, oh, I killed mud, mud puppy again. Uh, that's Chrome. All right. Um, yeah. So basically, it's just like you know what wireless uh, wireless internet data is sending it does, except much better and probably more um, reliable because blockchain is naturally redundant, right? Whereas today's wireless networks technically they have uh, redundancies too, but it's like the old way of doing it. I don't want to get into a whole like packets and stuff thing, especially since I don't really know too much about it. I know like the bare basic minimum, but I just I just know that yeah, if one thing goes down, someone else throughout the network can take over and then try to resend the same data. It's basically the same concept, except yeah, <coughs> uh, uh, except that everyone distributes the data and then you know sends it to the same host to everyone else. So uh, it's like crowdsourcing data sending, I think. Would be the best way to describe it. Uh, blah blah blah. All right, so very good, very cool. So, uh, hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna have some uh, hard time figuring out what the title of this video is gonna be. If so, actually, a dollar donor will fuel high to uh, octane boost for Bitcoin. Uh, okay, well, well, I can expect the world's large crypto to be further fueled for the rest of 2020 by the presidential election, which I've been saying we've. Well, I mean, it does take a genius to know about this. And weakness of the U.S. dollar. Uh, I mean, the one dollar is always weak, you know, quote unquote. U.S. presidential election always stirs in turn, but 2020 seen by mass particularly important as who, whoever wins will be the CEO of the world's largest economy, and they will play a role in the blah blah. blah. Oh, and the yeah, the coronavirus it really determines good and evil. That's basically what this election is. Uh, but this, but Daily Hold is not a political site, so. Bitcoin has currently realized reputation for foreign digital goal up to now precious blah 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 blah. The centralized not so average secure digital currency Bitcoin will become less generous as they offer a head together already. Uh, we've heard the same song you dance. Okay, you know what? We don't need to read that. I mean, he doesn't say anything that we don't already know. Um, all right, I guess I think I know what the thing's gonna be. But anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, let's hope I can survive these hits. Yes, we can. Uh, oh no, I don't want to sound like Obama. So uh, anyway, uh, I've got work to do today. Uh, did the video really early today because you know I, I just want to get to work. Um, you know, because the sooner I lift weights, then the more free time I'll have to work on my game. Because um, the last things I have to do is, I think today I'll work on skinning or replacing the models for the British sniper units, the elite ones. I'm not going to say the full name yet, but I mean it's pretty close. 
So I gotta implement sniper models, and then after that I have to replace models for the enemies, because uh, I have some cool spaceship models that were for free and are actually really good, and then place that. And my only concern now is, I wonder how well it's gonna run on mobile. Because now we went, because now the polygon, they call it Triss Cap for whatever reason, uh, is a lot higher because it looks a lot cooler, but no. Hey, what are you gonna do? Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, they all, I mean, all the models say it's optimized for mobile, so, I mean, who knows what that really means. Uh, or maybe I have to, like, or, I don't know, you know what, maybe. Maybe when I build for the mobile, I have to actually uh, use lower polygon models. I don't know. I don't really want to do that. Uh, but I mean, the mobile is the way I'll monetize the game with for, with free to play. Because on Steam, it just won't be. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, uh, yeah. So it looks like the market's going to be down today. So all right, not not that big of a deal. So anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Enjoy the bull run in the meantime, because. You know, crypto is obviously skyrocketing overall. Uh, it's very good. Um, yeah, and then I have to work on some websites too and crypto stuff. So, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chen, James C. Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin. Uh, you know, I think I'll actually make this the thumbnail.